in this module we will take a view on cryptocurrency a view from a sharia viewpoint why because cryptocurrencies have become of huge focus for not only individuals but for a number of businesses and organizations as well and in sharia circles there is a discussion going on whether cryptocurrencies are sharia compliant or not and this is a very interesting debate we have looked into trading in currencies from an islamic viewpoint and we have also seen what kind of restrictions are there when it comes to trading in currencies one broad principle is that currencies can be bought and sold only on spot there is no provision for trading in currencies i e selling dollars per pound or selling dollars per ru rupees on the basis of deferred payment is tarah ke aaj main 100 dollar kisi ko do aur iske badle mein ek hafte baad kuch rakam rupon mein le lo this is not accepted in the contemporary context any money that is a legal tender it's very important that is a legal tender falls under the definition of currency ye jo money hai kisi mulk ki currency hai dollar united states mein legal tender hai and that is a currency over there so all the monies which are a legal tender in at least one country they come under what are known as ahkam ustar the rules on currency exchange cryptocurrencies on the other hand side are not a legal tender they are not a legal tender in any country of the world although they are used as medium of exchange mostly in online transaction and there is a euphoria about bitcoin for example and uh, this attracts some kind of view on these currencies from a sharia viewpoint and this view must govern the trading in cryptocurrency investing in cryptocurrencies and of course holding them for certain time period if someone has taken an investment view on a particular cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies mein sabse mashhoor cryptocurrency bitcoin hai bitcoin ek aisa coin hai jo ke coin ki surat mein maujood nahi hai kaha ise bitcoin jata hai aur कहा जाता है कि इसको माइनिंग एक प्रोसेस का नाम दिया गया थ्रू माइनिंग दिस इज दिस इज क्रिएटेड अब वो उस तरह की कानकुनी नहीं है जो हम सोचते हैं कि किसी माइन में से निकाला जाता हो सो द टर्मिनोलॉजी यूज्ड इन क्रिप्टो करेंसीज इज वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इंक्लूडिंग माई सेल्फ एंड hence there is a need to look into cryptocurrency pehli baat humne ye kaha ki cryptocurrency koi currency nahi hai iska naam rakh diya gaya hai cryptocurrency is what it's basically in most cases a number generated through an algorithm and that algorithm is not known to a lot of people especially those who are buying and selling it they are just users through a process of mining which is very complicated you know you are online you are trying to be part of this process of keeping records of the transactions uh, certain numbers are generated and those numbers they become cryptocurrencies so a bitcoin when you buy a bitcoin aapki jeb mein koi coin nahi aata balki aapko ek code aa jata 
the question arises, can we invest in this value? Agar ye currency nahi bhi hai, can cryptocurrencies be considered as an investment? Now, when we invest in something, when I invest in a business, I become part owner of that business and that business has got some asset. When I invest in shares, through investing in shares, at least I become beneficial owner of an unknown part of the company. In case of a cryptocurrency, the question arises, what are we investing in? There are a lot of ambiguities about this point. So, when I spend my dollars to buy a Bitcoin, I get this code. And that's it. I can use that code to make some transactions. But from Sharia viewpoint, this is an, a completely new idea and hence it would take some time before the technology becomes better known in the world and the Sharia scholars and the jurists would be able to take a more informed view. Ab ye hai ke agar hum isko ek asset maan le, the question arises, can we buy it on a bear mu'ajjal basis? Yonke jo mein khareed raha hoon, wo meri possession mein to aya hi nahi hai. I just get an evidence that this is something I own. This is a number. In case of shares, for example, we know that there are some tangible assets behind it. In case of most of the cryptocurrencies, of course, there are certain cryptocurrencies which are based on gold. There are other cryptocurrencies which have some physical assets behind them. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the likes of Bitcoin. We don't know what we own and what we sell. So, in case of a Bitcoin, is it possible to buy this on the basis of BAM Ajil, as is the case for the shares of the listed companies? These are very tricky questions. And this will take some time before Sharia scholarship comes up with a more informed view on cryptocurrency. In the meantime, my advice to you and everyone would be keep yourself away from cryptocurrencies.